Hey gang, got a very cool demo for you today. I'm going to show you how you can use a combination of the features we have within Imaginario, such as object and action recognitions, our collections feature, and our Adobe export feature to go from a long form piece of content, in this case a video that's about 20 minutes long, to a rough cut of a highlight reel in just a couple of minutes. It's really cool, let's take a look. So we're going to be doing some sports highlights today. Um, so as you can see in my Imaginario dashboard here, I've imported a video of that very famous football match where Germany absolutely destroyed Brazil 7-1. Uh, so obviously if you're doing football highlights, the main thing that you're going to want to pull out is the goals. So we're going to use the object and action recognition built into our system to find the goals automatically, create clips of them, and then export them. As you can see, I've created this collection here, which is where I'm going to store all of the clips. So let's begin by going to the search tab. We're going to do a visual search because we're looking for some kind of action, something happening. Now, by default, your searches are going to be across all of your videos, but obviously I'm just looking to create highlights from this video. So I'm going to choose it and that will limit the search results to only the video that I've selected. So let's do 15 results. And then the action that I want to search for, obviously, is going to be scoring a goal. Now remember, this is an artificial intelligence system, so it's going to recognize all kinds of language. So you could also search for goal, goal scoring. You could also look for the method the goal was scored. So a goal from a free kick, goal from a corner, all that kind of stuff. I believe in this match, the first goal was scored by Thomas Muller. So you could also search for him by name. And if he's featured within the footage enough that our system can recognize him, it would then pick that up. So you have tons and tons of different options when it comes to searching for the action. So we've got some results here. Now what I'm going to try to do is find every goal, all eight goals in this match. So let's just run through them and see which goals we have. Let's check out this first one. To Cruz. Closer had one chance. He didn't miss the second time around. He's now one better. So that was certainly a goal. Let's see what other ones we've got. And, uh, Germany looking good for the final on Sunday. They might get another one here. It's so that's another great goal. Brazil getting absolutely destroyed here. And this looks like another good one. Now you can see as I'm going through these goals, I'm ticking this box in the top left corner. So that's just a, a selection option. And that's going to allow me to add them all to the, the collection that I want them in just to speed up the workflow a little bit. So I think we've got four now. This looks to be the fifth. Lam. Why does Kadira back into Lam? Square 6-0. Anyway, so you get the idea. Uh, Brazil are just being taken apart here. So I'm just going to speed up the rest of this process so we can get all of the goals. And that will make sure we include the Brazilian goal as well. Important consolation prize. Now, I'm going to add all of these clips to the collection that I showed you earlier, the Brazil versus Germany collection. So that's going to store all of the clips that I've selected within that part of the interface. So if I go back to the Home tab and then over to Collections, you can see we have the Brazil versus Germany collection. And then within that collection, we have all eight of the goals that we just chose. So if we go back to the main collection screen and then click on the options here, you see we have Adobe Premiere Export. So I'm going to hit that. And then what that's going to do is download an XML file of all of the clips that we just created. So not the actual footage itself, just the timestamps of the highlights that we just identified. Now, over in Premiere, the XML file that we downloaded, you can open that up as a project. It also works in DaVinci Resolve, by the way, if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, but we're using Premiere today. So I'm going to open this file. Now you're going to see what happens is Premiere will throw an error because it needs you to reconnect the master video file because we didn't download that from Imaginary, we just downloaded the data. So I'm going to relink the file and then you'll see in the timeline, we have eight perfectly clipped 15 second shots of each goal. To cross. Now, obviously, the advantage of importing things into Premiere is that you can do more editing with them. So you'll notice with this first clip, the system actually found the replay, not when the goal first happened. But because these clips are now relinked to the original long file, I can just drag the length of that clip out to find where the goal originally happened and use that for my highlight reel instead. In his World Cup career. So that was a very quick demo of how you can use our artificial intelligence features to go from a long original file to a highlights reel, or at least a rough cut of a highlights reel in double, double quick time. Super useful. Hope you found it useful as well. And commiserations again to Brazil.